David is a safety manager. He has recently bought the HSE performance monitoring tool. David is very impressed with the template, especially the dashboards. He has found the KPIs very useful in guiding his job. But he wishes to add his own KPIs to the template. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to add new KPIs to the HSE performance monitoring tool. This will enable you to align the tool to suit your organization and give you a lot more control. So, let's get into it. In this video, we will focus on new KPIs. We will also look at how to add the new KPI report to the dashboard. And we will address why you don't have to rename the KPIs at the end of the video. Now, let's assume David want to expand the permit to work KPI with the various types of work permits in his organization. David wishes to track hot work permit, confined space entry permit, work at height permit, lifting operation permit, ground disturbance permit, energy isolation permit, and driving permit. Begin by first, unprotecting the worksheet. To unprotect, head over to the review tab on the menu. Click on unprotect worksheet. Enter the password. And click on OK to unprotect the worksheet. Now, we need to insert new columns of KPIs, which sum up to the total permit issued. In this scenario, our types of work permits are 7 in all and they must sum up to the total permit issued. Go to the Home tab, and insert 7 new columns right before the permits issued. Let's name our columns with the new KPIs. For the purpose of illustration, I will introduce some dummy data and make it as natural as possible. We need to ensure the individual permits are equal to the number of permits issued using the sum function. Enter the equal sign. And sum. Open parenthesis. Enter Y, 3. Colon. And A, E, 3 to select the range. Close parenthesis and hit enter. Now we need to make sure our new formula fills all the cells below. Select the cell. Locate the square black dot on the lower corner of the cell. Put cursor on it until you see a plus sign. Hold and drag all the way to the bottom. Or simply use the shortcut. By selecting the cell. Hit Ctrl Shift down arrow until the entire column is selected. And hit Ctrl D to duplicate. Now, since our permit has formula. We need to protect the column. First, let's give it a yellow fill. And then, right click on the selected column and click on Format Cells. Go to the protection on the dialog box. And click on locked. This will ensure that once we protect the entire worksheet, this specific column will be protected. Now that we have our new KPIs, we need to create a new pivot table. But remember, we only unprotected the worksheet. This time we need to also unprotect the workbook structure. This will allow us to add new sheets to the workbook. Click on review. But this time, go to protect workbook. Click on Unprotect, provide the password and hit OK. Now, we can add as many new sheets as we want to the workbook. To save time, let's focus on creating only one sheet for the 7 new KPIs. To use the new KPIs from the source data, press Ctrl A to select the entire table. Go to the Insert tab on the menu. Click on Pivot Table. And then select New Sheet. That is where we want to place the new pivot table. Click on OK, and now we have our new pivot table on a new sheet. Let's now name it. Types of permit to work. Let's now drag the sheet to the other permit related sheets. Middle is fine. Now we want to arrange our pivot fields to capture our new KPI. Select any cell on the pivot table. You will notice. The pivot table analyze tab will pop up on the menu. Click on the field list to show the pivot table field layout. Go to the field name section at the top. Click on Refresh All to update the field list with our new KPIs. 
and check to select the new KPIs. This will populate the new KPIs at the bottom right section of the field layout. That is the values section. At the values section, we need to make sure the values are some of the KPIs. As you can see they are already the sum values. Now, we need to add the date to complete our pivot table. Continue to the field name section. And select the date. Drag the date to the row section. Now our pivot table is created. Let's now format the pivot table to make it nicer. Let's insert a clustered column chart. Click on the pivot table. Go to the insert tab. Locate column chart and select. Let's also insert a slicer. In this case we want our slicer to filter by date. Slicers are visual filters used to filter tables in Excel. In pivot tables, slicers connect to the table filters in the source data sheet and can connect multiple pivot tables within a workbook. So let's connect this slicer to other pivot tables. This will enable us to control all pivot tables and charts within the workbook with this slicer. Now, let's clear any item with no data from the slicer. We can go to the slicer settings and check the box to hide item with no data. We can also change our slicer design if we want. Now our new types of work permit KPI report is completed. You can now update the various types of work permits in the source data. Click on refresh all. Each time you update your data, for the entire reports to update automatically. Now, stay tuned. David is now happy with the new KPIs we have created. He want to add this new KPI report to the control of work dashboard. Dave knows that, the types of permit to work will be better if added to the control of work dashboard. Rather than creating a new dashboard altogether. To update the control of work dashboard. First. Copy the KPI report chart. Go to the control of work dashboard. And paste it anywhere below the dashboard. We need to now reduce the size of the dashboard elements to make way for the new KPI so that it can fit in our screen. Currently, the dashboard has been grouped. So it is easy to reduce the size of the entire dashboard elements. And then work around creating space for our new column chart. Click on the dashboard. Go to the small square on the outline at the bottom. Put the cursor on it until you see the opposite arrow sign. Select and hold, drag the outline upwards to reduce the size of the dashboard. Now ungroup the dashboard. To ungroup, Click on the dashboard. This will show the shape format tab on the menu. Click on shape format. Locate the arrange tab. Click on it. You will now find the ungroup tab. Click to ungroup until you can see that the various elements of the dashboard can be selected individually. You can now extend background shape of the dashboard and drag the new column chart onto it. We can now format the chart to make look nicer by adding a chart title. Removing the grid lines, the outline color and adding a shadow effect to the chart. Now select all the dashboard elements. Go to format shape and regroup them. We can add the data labels if we want to. Our new control of work dashboard is now complete. Now, why should you not rename the KPIs? This is what happens when you rename the KPIs. For example, let's try to rename Toolbox Talk, Toolbox Talk Participation and Risk Assessment. Click on Refresh All. We now have the reference errors. The new KPIs also don't show in relevant dashboards and reports. The reference error implies that, the reference formula no longer exists. This is because, when creating the dashboard, we did some calculations. Also, 
the KPIs won't show in the pivot tables because, their names have changed. We will have to select them again in the pivot fields. And correct the calculations related to the dashboards. This can be overwhelming, when you rename a lot of KPIs. If you need to rename a KPI, it is better to hide the KPI and create a new one. Using the method, we have just shown. You can hide all the KPIs and insert new columns of your own KPIs. And create as many pivot tables and charts. And even create your own dashboard. The HSE Performance Monitoring Tool provides a solid foundation. You can easily customize for your need. By simply hiding KPIs that don't apply. Or add your new KPIs to track new HSE priorities. Or create your own dashboards, on new worksheets. If you want to learn more about our templates, visit our website and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.